Okay, honestly, y'all, I did not film today, so that's on me, but I decided I need to film this haul. It's so crazy. This is everything I got at the bins today. I'm going to the bins tomorrow, so I'll be filming then. Hopefully I come up again, but yeah, I'm just going to show you a little sneak peek of some of the things that I found. So that's all you get, but it was a really, really solid day. I'm very stoked. I did sell one thing today, so I'll show it off since it won't be in the haul portion of the video, but it's this big like Mickey crew neck. It's on an old Mickey like unlimited tag. And yeah, I just sold it to a homie for 25 ship. I feel like on Depop, I maybe could have got 30, maybe 35 if I want to push it, but I thought 25 was really solid. So that's already sold. some teas that sold before I could do the haul portion because I'm at this point probably gonna wait a week until I film it and I need to sell things so this Mardi Gras 93 shirt sold for 20 shipped it's really really sick and then uh, both of these white tag Nike shirts this one's a size small this one's a size medium I sold them to a homie for 50 shipped for both of them and I'm sure he will probably be able to resell them for more because he has a really big market with Nike but like I saw a white tag like smaller size stuff on Depop for like 25 to like maybe 35 so I'd rather just sell them fast to him I, it's gonna be harder to move because they're smaller sizes but yeah those sold all right and another one sold before I could have it in the video but this is a Salvador Dali tea it's an art tea it's from like the probably early mid 2000s and yeah, I got a hundred bucks for this, which is pretty sick to me, pretty solid. But yeah, this won't be making the video. I sold to my homies at Single Stitch AZ, so I appreciate y'all. Okay, another thing that sold before I could film it in the haul portion of a bins video because I'm like a week behind on filming things. So this is a like 90s, it's a weekly world news. It's like these like fake news things that were around in like the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. And it's this like Elvis is alive tea. Uh, my friend actually found this at Bins and she didn't want it. And I offered to pay her for it. I was like, this is a good tea. And yeah, she didn't want it. So I sold it on Instagram and yeah, it's a crazy one. I've seen like the Bat Boy one has become really popular lately with like 1980 something co posting it. I haven't seen this one before. So yeah, and the dude that got it probably got a steal for it. He might end up flipping it. You might see it again soon. But uh, yeah, for what he paid me, I was totally fine to let it go. And I posted on Instagram and it didn't get a ton of attention, so I was fine letting it go. But still a really good tea, like a really, really good tea that I found at the bins, or that my friend found at the bins, gave to me. So yeah, still got a lot of stuff to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys really quick, but we'll get into that soon. Yo, what is up everybody? This is Jackson with Loveless Vintage. I'm doing another bins haul video for you guys. Now this one, I didn't film a lot of stuff in the bins, so I apologize for that. I've been going to the bins like three or four times a week, so it gets really hard to film and then also pick and sort while I'm there and respond to DMs about things I have for sale. and the whole shebang. So I do apologize. I didn't get a lot of footage in the bins. I've also been going to a new bins, which is way more chill and I've been getting way more stuff. So that is awesome. I sorted out kind of my favorite or my best finds. And this is like three days worth of finds, I believe. So it's not going to be everything I got in three days, but it's going to be a majority of the stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go through it. There are some bangers in here and there are some things that sold that didn't make it to the video just because someone hit me up with a really good offer and I needed to sell them now and I didn't wanna just hold them for the video. But anyways, without further ado, we're gonna get into it. I did not put them into any order at all. So we're just gonna go straight through it. 
starting with this 80s 90s crazy like windbreaker the pattern on this is crazy it has like checkers also it is blue and white it's just a wild one this is a really really cool one this was actually passed off to me by final flame vintage they are the homies. They're a vegan reselling couple and they are super dope. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for passing this off to me. Next, we just got a destination tee. I hit a bin that literally had like 20 destination tees and you know what, I'll take them. They sell super quick on Depop, easy money. So why not? This one's like almost dead stock and it's a San Francisco and it has like the cool foil print. Got this damn right, I'm good in bed. I can sleep for day shirt. I've had this in black and it was like different font. It's on a Delta tag. This is a kid's. It's like a WWE wrestling shirt. Just wanted to throw it in because I thought the distressing on it was kind of cool. This, I still don't know what this is, but I also found like 10 band tees. I found like an art tee. I hit a singular bin that had like 20, like 25 things that I picked. And this was one of the shirts. I think it's just a Jesus shirt. I'm really not sure. I need to do more research on this shirt. Honestly, I haven't really looked it up. I put it on my story and like no one said anything about it, but it just says 1993 AD tour. And it looks like Jesus. Like that looks like Jesus. And then the back, it has dates though. So I, I think this is for a band. I'm not sure yet though. It does have a licensing and it says Phenomenon Murano and then Bill Stabick or something. So I'm gonna look up those names. I'm probably really stupid and this is probably like a really good band or something, but I just haven't looked it up yet. I've been super busy. This guy is a Disney sleep shirt that I actually sold. So I need to ship this, but it's really big. It says sweet dreams on the front with all the like Disney princesses. It's kind of yellowed out. And then the back, it says Sleeping Beauties. And yeah, this is a sleep shirt, so it's like really big. I think I sold this for like 25 shipped or something, but yeah, I need to ship this. So I'm gonna set that aside. This one is cool. Just the fade on it is awesome. It's just a Harley tee, but look at the fade. Like the front graphic is like, you can barely see it. And then the back, you got the emblem with the Las Vegas. It's a made in USA, size XL, it's hollow back. So I'm imagining it's probably like, early 2000s probably late 90s but i just love the fade on this one i got a backstreet boys tour shirt from i think 2014 yeah 2014 this was a throwback from someone and i was like Psh, i'll be able to sell it for like 15 bucks on depop or something this is a winnie the pooh crew neck green it just says nothing warms you up like a friend and it's like embroidered it's kind of cute just thought i'd pick it up next we have this super colorful floral like button up shirt these floral shirts have been doing really well this one is really cool it's a ray troll design ray troll's like an artist and he always does parodies of things with fish it's kind of funny this one says there's no ho like coho and they look to be prostitutes but they are fish so really, really funny. It's a triple XL and it's like on a newer Gildan tag, but I just thought it was really funny. So I wanted to pick it up. Got a 90s University of Washington Huskies crew neck. I really love the graphic on this one. Really cool size large on a Toltex blank. It's like a crew neck sweater. Got this 90s Adidas windbreaker. The three stripes on it are really cool. Just a small embroidered little logo. Nothing on the back except for the three stripes kind of carry over on the sleeves, but this one's really cool. Super faded Triple H wrestling tee. Really cool. The back image is super faded out. I thought these would go for more, but I'm still really stoked to have it. I think it's like a $30 tee, maybe if that, but it's still really cool. This one is awesome, like awesome. I flipped a whole pile of clothes and it was just laying face up, like looking at me. I pulled it out, it's so beautiful. This is an 80s, I think it's from 88, Harley Davidson. And it says, best of the breed. It, the colors are just crazy. The print is in really, really good condition. It's from 88. I thought it was a 3D emblem, but it's not, but it's dated 1988. I saw a very similar one, crew neck just like this sell for like $160 on eBay. So this is one that I'm gonna like probably hold on to a little bit and look up comps and everything, make sure I can get the most out of it. But this one is beautiful, beautiful. Now these are crazy. I wish they weren't so distressed, but these are vape, authentic vape. I always find vape in the bins, but I didn't find this to be fair. Bin's mom, AKA Abby, did find these and she passed them off to me. These are vape sweatpants. Look at these. 
but look at the distressing. They're super torn up. The elastic is showing through. The thing is though, is I think I could patch these or sew them back, but yeah, they're really torn up. Basically just up in here. Here's the tag for you guys. Bape size medium. And then here's the tags on the inner. So you got the little authentication like shiny tag and then yeah all these tags check out i checked some pairs on grailed and stuff i think it was like 2011 or something like these are pretty old but they have these skeleton bones on the back and these glow in the dark and i tested them out and they do glow in the dark the last pair i saw sold was on grailed and they were the gray version and they sold for 300 dollars three hundred dollars so obviously these are thrashed and i'm probably not going to get anywhere near that if i can fix them up i don't know maybe like 150 i don't know this is like a project i'm gonna have to like put some time into but these are crazy bape in the bins this is a joker like football jersey 69 69ers like i found a few of these this joker brand on ebay i found a few of their jerseys sell for like 40 or 50 bucks i didn't see this one but they seem kind of rare i'm not exactly sure what it is maybe just like a earlier mid 2000s like brand but yeah i picked it up because i thought there was kind of low risk but yeah I, I don't know maybe throw it up for like 30 40 bucks these are really sick these are on bike sweats size large but they're licensed raiders it says los angeles raiders and they're dated 1993 nfl licensing and they have pockets and everything really cool color they're really clean too so pick these up i'm not sure on these maybe like 30 bucks or so i gotta look up comps but these are really cool someone passed this off to me it's a white tag size xl it's pretty dirty i'm gonna have to give it a little soak and it's like a mesh material but it's just a small nike swoosh check like white tee thought it was pretty cool got another adidas jacket size medium it's from the 90s it's like soft on the inside it's kind of like a bomber style but yeah it just has like little hits here and the three stripes like nothing crazy nothing on the back but just a cool piece probably get like 25 30 bucks for it this one i just wanted to throw in the video it's this i've been collecting like christmas stuff like i have maybe like 12 to 15 like christmas items just because i want to have like kind of styled drops on my depop but i grabbed this it's this like reindeer graphic and he's putting a letter to santa in the mail and then the next picture is him with like soap in his mouth and it says i told santa claus what i wanted this christmas and he washed my mouth out with soap so i thought that was kind of funny it's a screen print and tag so it's like not old at all but i thought i'd throw it on depop for like 10 bucks or something this one's very weird it's a huskies disney shirt but the print is like in such a weird place and there's nothing else on it but i just thought it was kind of funny it's on a oh yeah it's on a like champion tag also so it's like on a champion branded shirt and yeah it's just like a huskies mickey disney tee this guy is a norway like destination tee i just really really love the colors on this i'm not even gonna read it well, maybe I will. It's Pulpit Rock. That's not that hard to read. I'm not exactly sure on the destination, but it's Norway. And yeah, it's single stitch from the 90s. So I picked this up. My great grandmother actually came over here from Norway. So your boy got some Norwegian in him. This is a 90s Madonna in crew neck. It's got like really cool, like pink, like shimmery ink. And it's on this Jersey size XL crew neck. This one is awesome. This is like a big print rainforest cafe. It's like a Panther and it's size XL. Nothing else really on the back or anything, but yeah, it's the tag is rainforest cafe size XL. I thought that was kind of cool, but yeah, just animal tea. More destination teas. This guy is XL on a Lee blank. And this is, what is this? New Orleans, like the print is crazy. It's like foil, as you guys can tell. It's just really cool. I had to grab it. Coming up on more like destination and floral teas. This one's size large. It's single stitched 90s. This one is really cool actually. It says a world of orchids. I really think these like flower teas are kind of slept on. Like the colors are just really cool. The graphics are really sick. So yeah, grab this one. This is like a late 90s Santa Barbara tea. I don't know what it is, but the picture just soothes me. Like I just want to look at it. I just want to look at it. I just love the colors. Santa Barbara. 
California. I've never even been there. Got another Madonna in. This one's like 2000s though, but just Madonna in. This one, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Howl's Moving Castle. If you guys have seen the Ghibli film, but just the way that it looks, the tops of it reminds me of Howl's Moving Castle. This is Hotel Del Coronado. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, this guy's a 90s tee. Just a basic San Francisco, California embroidered tee. These go for easy 15 bucks or so on Depop all day. Got a Harley Davidson. This was a throwback by someone, but I picked it up because look at the like shoulder paneling. It's like mesh. This is really cool. And it has like orange piping details. And then it's like black mesh on the shoulders. So I thought that was really sick. It's like mid 2000s with a little hit on the back, but I just thought that it was like really unique. I've never seen that before. I have two of these and I have one in like a youth large. It's a San Francisco like trolley shirt. And this one is in an adult small. So maybe someone's kid can match with them. Another like mid 2000s destination tee, San Diego with the foil. I don't know what it is with these foil print shirts, but I got like five of them, but they're sick. Here's another one, Sarasota foil print. Sick though. So this one has a sticky note on it that it's sold. So I need to put this one aside. I had to do some work on it. It was really yellowed. I had to put it in oxy and stuff for a while, but this one is just another sick floral tea, Desert Wildflowers. And it has like four different Desert Wildflowers. Graphic is just really sick. It's almost kind of like an art tea, honestly. And yeah, it's on a Onita blank single stitch. Like I think it's dated 93. So yeah, really sick. And I sold this to someone in the UK. I think I sold it for 35, but mind you shipping over there is like 20 bucks for a tea. So like 15 bucks. All right, I threw this in as kind of a joke and I kind of picked it up as a joke because like Marvel teas are blowing up or whatever. But this is a Spider-Man shirt. But if you look closely, homie has bling. He's all rhinestoned out. So yeah, I picked this up. I, it's probably like early 2000s. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably honestly just list it as is. It has kind of a stain right here now that I'm seeing, but I just thought it was funny. These next two ones are cool. They were my beginning finds to a day. Like I found them like right when I got there. And this is like a Bullwinkles promo shirt for Bullwinkles. I think it's Family Food and Fun. Yeah, Family Food and Fun. It's Bullwinkles Fun Center. There's one near me. It's like 20 minutes away, 30 minutes away. And I went there as a kid like all the time. So I was like, this is kind of funny, Bullwinkles. I don't think these shirts go for a lot at all, but this is size medium on a Fruit of the Loom best tag. And then this one is pretty cool. It's super, super soft. This is a eight, 18. 1984 Budweiser USSSA men's Sea State Cowlix County shirt. Jesus, it's a lot to say. But yeah, it's a 1980s Budweiser tee. I think it was originally white, which means I should soak it. I can't really tell, it might be tan, but yeah, it's gonna need some work to it. I dive the Great Barrier Reef crew neck in Australia. It's also kind of sad because the Great Barrier Reef, not looking too good right now, guys. Okay, so this one is a banger. This is my boy, rest in peace, James Dean. James Dean, Fairmont, Indiana, and it's from 1998. It's a double XL and like an old Fruit of the Loom blank, but yeah, I pulled this out of that bin that I found some like band tees and an art tee in, and this one is a great one. It's kind of surprised that James Dean tees don't go for it that much, depending on like what they are, but still really, really awesome tee. And I was super stoked to find it. Now, this is one of the best singular items that I found. Two of the other best singular items I found, I already sold. So I'll include little clips about them, but this one, I haven't sold it yet. Still have it. It's in like dead stock condition. This is a blue oyster cult Godzilla tee back the back looks like this front is the big godzilla graphic it's like in dead stock condition double xl the tag is super crispy double xl so in this bin there were like two or three other like rock tees i think there was at least one or two other blue oyster cult shirts and one of the homies at final flame vintage ended up getting one but theirs is crazy i think it's like an early 90s godzilla one and the comps on ebay for it are like 300 dollars. so i watched her pull it right next to me and like hold it up and i was like 
Yeah, there were some really good rock teas in the singular bin. I just didn't have time to scoop them all or look through everything. So some other people got some, which is fine. Like I'm stoked other people can like eat off of the bins. I'm not trying to grab every single thing, but I was just stoked enough to just grab this and a few other really good teas out of the bins. But yeah, it's crazy. People just like donate their personal collection and it's wild. Only have a few things left. This is a made in USA Patagonia fleece. Really cool, this one was actually passed off to me by my friend Alex, so thank you Alex. As an embroidered little Patagonia logo. Has a lot of hair on it and it's gonna need a wash, but still a really cool piece. Got two left, and this guy is funny because I found this exact same jacket at the Portland bins a few weeks ago and I just sold it like a day or two before I went to the bins and I found it again. And I think I sold it for 35 shipped, maybe 40 shipped. But yeah, it's just a size XL, Paul Ralph Lauren, like the zip up kind of bomber coat. And then the last find, I actually found like four or five newer modern Disney things, but I threw this one in because I thought it was the coolest one. It's just a zip up Disney jacket, has the little hit right there, but then the hit on the back is really cool. It's like Mickey with the American flag. It says American classic. Yeah, I found a ton of, uh, this is like mid 2000s Disneyland size XL. So I found a ton in a bin and I just thought this one was like the coolest one to throw on the show. But yeah, those are my bins finds. That was from like a week ago and it was three consecutive days. I have a gigantic stack of stuff that I didn't show in it just cause I thought that they weren't cool enough. But more bins videos are coming. I'm gonna try to film every week I go to the bins. And I've been going to the bins, like I said, three to four times a week. So they might become shorter videos. I'm only show you the really good stuff I get but nonetheless I'm going to try to keep coming out with Ben's videos and there's going to be more different content on the way so please subscribe if you guys aren't drop a like on the video and drop a comment I try to respond to like all the comments follow me on Instagram I'll put it like right here or right here and it's always in the description of my videos hit up my depop also you can hit me on Instagram for anything you saw in this video or anything you see on my depop that you might want for a little bit of a better deal I'll always hook you guys up so yeah I appreciate you guys watching again Jackson love this vintage peace out